Saurabh Bakhtanya, who is joining us live right from Sharad Pawar's residence. Saurabh, what's the action at the NCP camp? Uh, Pawar, already partially conceding defeat, has sent out many hints that this is Sena's internal matter. We are not going to involve or interfere. At this point, we don't even mind sitting in the opposition. We don't want a re-election. These are words uh, that he has said, almost hinting at the fact that they may just be helpless. And Pawar surely has a reality check here. Well, Nabila, we have to understand that uh, Sharad Pawar's clear message right now that he stands with Uddhav Thakre. Even if the high number of MLAs have left uh, Shiv Sena uh, and uh, not left Shiv Sena but have now made a separate camp, uh, Sharad Pawar clearly giving a message uh, to all of them that now I am standing with Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre. I am convert me. Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre has to take a very tough decision right now uh, to make sure that all his flocks keeps together. Now what Sharad Pawar has also said that currently there are numbers not in favour of Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre Nabila. So what he has said that there are very high chances that the government may even fall and therefore we can sit in the opposition, we can lose our government over here but there is nothing to worry. We need to keep struggle and we need to be prepared for it. Nabila clearly message given by Sharad Pawar in his meeting and currently let me tell you the meeting is already underway. There are all the ministers, all the senior MLA leaders and several other uh, ground level workers are present in this particular meeting where Sharad Pawar himself is addressing this particular meeting. The, the message which right now comes out from this uh, whole meeting, Nabila, we need to understand that Sharad Pawar is in favor of Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre. He is saying that we will support Uddhav Thakre. This comes very important because yesterday when Sanjay Raut also was addressing the media, he said that we have uh, support of Sharad Pawar and he's a very big leader in the state of Maharashtra. What he says is very important. Uh, we, when we speak about the situation around two and a half years back, Nabila, when we go in 2019, when just in a night, let me tell you, that uh, Deputy Chief Minister became Ajit Pawar, there was a big uh, huddle which the MVA faced uh, uh, during that time along with Devendra Fadnavis and Ajit Pawar made a government they even took a oath at the governor house it was just Sharad Pawar that in few hours everything changed and then they had to resign he at that time saved his power saved his party from splitting and this is the power and charismatic power of Sharad Pawar and now he himself has come on field saying that we will support Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre, but Uddhav Thakre needs to take a tough decision. He also explained his uh, uh, leaders of NCP clearly that the time is very difficult, anything can happen, we can also lose power and therefore we should prepare for it. Back to you, Nabila. You know, at this point, uh, what's surprising is that so far the Congress was known as a weakling. Many of them uh, were, were and, and, and what we know largely is that the, uh, uh, the municipal corporation polls had really widened the fault lines between the NCP and the Congress. The NCP and Congress, as two parties of, of the alliance, always had animosities and trouble uh, in coordination. Uh, they had this kind of rebellion uh, uh, amongst each other, the NCP and the Congress. Little did anyone imagine it was the Shiv Sena actually that was, that was burning from within. Uh, and that's what's surprising for us today, that the Congress has its house in order, NCP has its house, house in order, all their MLAs remain intact. It's the Shiv Sena MLAs that have revolted and look at the numbers. Such a large revolt, it's shameful if Uddhav Thakre never realized or even sensed it remotely. Well, Nabila, nobody could have ever imagined that someone from Shiv Sena, when, the, when, when at a particular time, when the Thakre family himself, Uddhav Thakre is the chief minister of the state, and at that particular time, someone who is most trusted, someone who is most loyal, with most of his MLA will leave to such a state which is they are in the opposition they will go to such a state in Gujarat and it is a clear revolt and nobody understood Nabila let me tell you that just day before yesterday a person meets Uddhav Thakri at the bungalow the next day he visit uh, Gujarat he goes to the Eknath Shinde camp so that happened couple of times. Gulab Rao Patil one day was at uh, Varsha uh, meeting Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre 
The next day, he is meeting uh, Eknath Shinde in Guwahati. So such thing has happened. Now what Shiv Sena is saying that we have faced such situation in the past, be it Chagan Bujbal, be it uh, Narayan Rane, or be it, uh, uh, be it Raj Thakre himself. But we have overcome such situation. But let me tell you, Nabila, such situation uh, Shiv Sena has faced, but this time the numbers are very much high. They have a very powerful leader like Eknath Shinde. Eknath Shinde, who is the second person to go about in party, he has such influence over so many Shiv Sena leaders, so many Shiv Sena MLAs. Right now, what Shinde is claiming that over 40 MLAs from Shiv Sena are with him in Guwahati, and over five MLAs, the independent MLAs, are with him. So the majority, if you see, there are over 45 MLAs above, uh, which are present in the Eknath Shinde camp. They are also preparing. There is also possibility, uh, Nabila, that they are going to uh, they are going to approach the election commission for the symbol of Shiv Sena. So this is a very difficult time right now for Shiv Sena. So what will be the next step of Uddhav Thakre will be very important. Remember, Nabila, Shiv Sena is such a party. It's an aggressive party, but it is also an emotional party as well. It plays on the sentiments, and which was showed in the uh, speech of Uddhav Thakre yesterday. The way he left from Varsha, the suitcase were packed in. The people were over there. Let me tell you, while his convoy was passing from Bandavali ceiling, even there people were present. The Sivshanik was present. So it clearly showed that how he's trying to give an emotional touch, trying to play with the sentiments of the people, trying to gather the support of his Shiv Sening with the sentiments. So how the things turn on? Because Sanjay Raut is currently very firm. He's saying that we have faced such situation in the past, so nothing is going to happen. Now Sharad Pawar coming into the game, and he's clearly saying that we will stand with Uddhav Thakre, uh, and uh, we need, uh, we will support him. But even he has clearly given an advice that now Uddhav Thakre also needs to give a tough decision, and we have to be prepared that if we lose the power, the government can fall so we have to be prepared for that itself and we need to struggle now what that struggle means Nabila you know many of the MLAs in the MVA are fearing the central forces so this could be the indication that such things can happen in the future as well two of the senior NCP leaders in fact the ministers are currently in jail lodged in jail so such things can happen in uh, future so we need to uh, uh, be prepared for it so currently the situation looks uh, very uh, interesting. Support from Sharad Pawar to Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre. Uh, Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre playing on the sentiment, emotional, emotional card. But how the MLAs are going to stick together, whether he will prove his majority on floor, it will be very interesting to see.